I'm Melissa Edwards, and this is Alyssa's Secret. Welcome to Morning Musume Monday. This is Alyssa Edwards. And this is Alyssa's Secret. And today we are reviewing our number 22 ranked Morning Musume member. Last week, we decided uh. to swap our members, or so Jacob swap. did, swap. he had members that were opposite of mine for these last week and this week, and so he decided to swap them. So last week we talked about Fukumura Mizuki and how she was our number 23, and this week we are going to be talking about Sato Masaki and why she is our number 22. Truth be told, I like Sato Masaki. She was my favorite 10th generation girl when she first came in. That role has been overtaken by Ayumi because I just think Ayumi is so gorgeous and she is fierce. She dances she's circles a, she's a around queen. everyone. She is the dancing queen, young and sweet, only 17. Sato yeah. Masaki is amazing. I love her. I think she's so sweet. I've loved her voice ever since the beginning. I think that she has such a cute personality and there's something so innocent about her and the way that she embraced stardom when she first came in just with these big eyes of wonderment and excitement into the J-pop world, I really liked that and I thought there was something very real about her. Now even though I adore her and I love her, I adore you. I adore you. She isn't my, like, number one favorite member. There are a lot of members who I've loved for so much longer, and those members, unfortunately, outrank her in my ranking. It's not that she's bad, it's just she's great. If, if this were a ranking of the current members, Misaki would probably be in my top four. But we're encompassing everyone, including the beautiful Gaki, Aichan, Abe <clears throat> and others. The elders who found it so much. Yuko. Who gave a nice, strong, well established, long standing Inca career. Old as balls foundation for the girls to stand on. I think what I appreciated most about Sato was that I could clearly see growth in her vocals from her premiere in Hello Project in Morning Musume to current singles. There's a distinct like rise in the quality of the solo lines that she gives. And I appreciate that and that's what kind of bumped her up on the list even if it was just one spot. And there's nothing I love more than seeing somebody improve. It's kind of the opposite of other members who, you know, start off strong and then make bad choices and kind of go downhill. Aika, I'm looking at you. Riho. I don't necessarily- Why is she as high as she is on your list? Like, we haven't even talked about Riho yet for you, and she's up there. I don't necessarily blame Riho for ruining her voice. I blame the solo she was given. Who else kind of did that? I feel like Koharu kind of did that. I feel Koharu like- Koharu had no talent from the beginning. She got better. I also feel like- Sa You liked Ogawa at first. I did, and then I just forgot about her. I feel like Sakura, to some extent, came in with such a strong, unique voice, and she's kind of bent it and twisted it to please Sunku and what he wants. And while I understand that she has to do what management tells her, it's her job, it's a little disappointing for me. But that she came in with such a strong presence and then just kind of like flatlined? She did. She had such a strong presence, such a unique personality. She had such a individu individualistic sort of approach to how she, you know, came into Morning Musume and she's just sort of faded into the rabble and that's unfortunate. But we're not talking about her right now, we're talking about Sato. Sato, I've noticed this clear improvement in her singing which I have loved and I also appreciate that she is a hardcore bona fide Reina fan. Like, I feel like Sato would be the kind of person who would drive 36 hours straight just to, you know, have see Reina in, in, in concert and have her sign a CD. In Santa Frisco. In Santa Frisco. And for that reason, I feel you, Sato. <laughs> Soul Sisters. Cheetah Girls. Growl power. I also do appreciate that Masaki does try to change her voice when she's singing Reina's lines, to be reverent towards her. There's something so sweet about that. And there, she's just such a cute girl. And to me, she seems so much like a little puppy. She's just excited to be there. She's like Lin Lin. It's like, it doesn't matter what you give me, it doesn't matter how much, 
doesn't matter where you put me, I'm just happy to be just here. happy to be part of the group, guys. You know? Like, that's just the energy that I get from her. Now that I'm thinking about Sakura, I wonder where I put her. She doesn't have a lot of personality, but she does have a banging voice. She has an amazing there's voice. There's still the chance that she will find that voice again before her time in morning Masame is over. Well, I feel like she sings really well when she's like, not doing morning Musume uh, stuff. Yeah. When she's, like, doing Hello Project covers, she's fantastic. Cause she does that little carmelian voice that she has and she's like you want me to sing like gaki let me belt for you let me slay the you know like, like when she is emulating others she's like hitting it she's on point but sunku i feel like wants her to not overshine the other girls and that's the only reason why she's the number two vocalist because before when it was reina and riho Sakura was overshining both of them with her three second line and i don't think he wants it to be like 100% versus 30, mm -hmm. you know, like, Riho is the 30%, and then, you know, 50% from everybody else, and I don't think he wants it to be the Reina and the Aichan show, you know? You're ruining everything! Get out! Queef. I really think that Masaki brings a sense of youthfulness to the group, and I think that she keeps them young. She's a lot like, you know, the the young mood makers that were in the previous lineup, like Lin Lin, like someone like Eddie, who just brings a youthfulness to the group and kind of keeps those old dogs feeling a little young, you know? You kids, you keep me young. I hope to see further improvement in Masaki since I clearly, I can clearly hear improvements in her voice from her first single to the most recent. So I just hope that she keeps working on that and hopefully she will eventually become a more assertive personality in the group. Um, just because she doesn't really strike a huge impression with me now doesn't mean she won't in the future. I I honestly did not even notice Reina for her first couple years in the group. Like it wasn't until later when she really began to break out into the group and not just as a personality outside the group. Because it's fine to be a personality outside of the group, but for someone who watches the music videos, who listens to the music, I'm not gonna notice you because you're a personality outside. It's when you pick up that personality inside, when you decide, I'm gonna be the Yankee one who doesn't care. I'm gonna be the cute one. I'm gonna be the Nachi one. I'm gonna be the, you know, this kind of androgynous, make all the boys and girls question their sexuality. Oh, uh, Yossi! It's when they make decisions like that and they run with it that, you know, they start to shine, whether for good or for bad, you know, I'm gonna be the kind of bitchy one who doesn't care, ice queen. but I'm gonna be the ice queen. The old ice queen. I'm gonna be the old one. I'm gonna be the kicking dancer who thinks she's better than everyone else. Good or bad, it's when they claim a personality and they show it to us through the music videos. I don't think Misaki has done that yet, um, other than just kind of being cute. And cute is fine, but cute's already on lock. At this point, being cute is not something that gets you noticed because all a lot of these girls are cute. If she if she keeps going down the path she's going and she keeps building herself up, talent-wise, personality-wise, I think that in her later years she'll become a strong leader in the group. Mm -hmm. Especially since some of the girls who are lined up to be the up-and-coming leaders maybe don't have. Mizuki's next. She's pretty. I think she'll step it up. I feel my fear with Mizuki is that she's just kind of the pretty one. You know what I mean? She has a decent enough voice. Like it's she's good, but she doesn't challenge herself. She doesn't challenge. Like she's good. She's not, she's kind of she's resting on pretty. Mm -hmm. She knows she's the the you know the tall, leggy, beautiful one. She's caught in the act. She's caught in the act. And what more does she really need to do to be the leader? That's kind of what I feel like I get from Mizuki. And she's kind of maintained her singing status. Like, what she gave at the beginning is kind of what she's still, still giving what she's now. Giving. She's been consistent, but someone like Misaki gave it and like she tried so hard but it wasn't great and she kept trying and trying and trying and trying and get and got better and better and better and better with each one and that is something that i think makes a strong leader in morning musume someone like gaki who persisted no matter what and gave it every time and got better each time 
And that's why I think Mizuki, unless she steps up her game within the next, you know, few singles, isn't going to be a great leader. It's because she's just saying, well, it's mine now. And I'm pretty. And I'm here. And I'm here. I'm not saying that's literally what she's saying, but that's how what that's how she comes across to me. And I feel like she learned that from um, Reina, actually, a little bit. Mm. A little bit of Ai Chan and a little bit of Reina. Because if I'm perfectly honest, I don't feel like Reina did a lot for Morning Musume. She's, she was there and she was fierce, but she also was just kind of like, get off me. Don't, <laughs> don't touch me. Like, like literally like she was the hot mom with her annoying kids and kept telling them to go in the back. Like, stop. Mommy's posing. <laughs> I'm not like regular moms. I'm a cool, I'm a cool mom. mom. Being, you know, pretty and fierce is great, but unless you have that innate golden star power, like I chan did, it doesn't make for a good leader. And I feel like the people who do have that star power, like Zuki and like Masaki, will never make it to that leadership position. They'll always be the Ogawa, who's fierce and great in the background, but doesn't get to ever get in that front forefront. Or someone like Eddie, who was amazing I never made it there, like just missed it by this much. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to us ramble. Please let us know who your number 22 ranked Morning Musume member is. We would love to read those, and we will see you all again next week with another member ranking. Bye! Bing. Winning! <laughs>